guys commented the last couple of weeks have been better because practice has been better. Did you say that as well? Yep. Yeah, How did, yeah. What changed or what do you think clicked? Or And when you say practice is better, what does it mean? Um, at our assignments, we're, uh, we're clicking into our assignments much better. I think we're practicing harder. And I think uh, one thing that if a mistake is made, we, uh, we move on. You know, we, we, uh, we come back to it later, you know, walk through or something like that. And uh, we correct it, and uh, we just go on from there. What do you expect out of Nebraska? Have you been there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been there. And uh, a program that's won a lot of games, and uh, I expect a tough game. What do you see in their quarterback and their running back? Uh, it's good. Solid, solid run game. That's, uh, that's what we've seen so far. And uh, it's going to respect to stop the run first of all. That's the first thing we got to do. Does it make your job easier or more fun maybe when you play a more pocket passer than you do a guy like maybe Baker Mayfield who can run around a little bit, make him play harder for you? Uh, I don't really think that. I think either either or. I mean, it's going to go get out there, get out to the quarterback. I think uh, it's, always, it's always a fun thing to do. So no, no really preference, in my opinion. Dante, Coach talked a little bit about the challenges of playing so many road games at night. What does that mean for you? Like, what time are you getting home? What time are you getting bed? How hard does that make it to, to turn around then on Sunday and start working on the next game? Uh, well, the, uh, those night games are definitely tough, especially away games. But uh, we, we usually get home like 4 or 5 a.m. But uh, they usually push practice back. So I mean, it's not, I mean, you, you just got to get your rest. And uh, once, once you get some sleep on Sunday, we'll be good. It, do you feel a difference, though, in, I mean, having a little bit less recovery time, you know, from a noon game to getting home at 4 in the morning? I mean, that's you know, basically 12, 12 fewer hours of recovery time and rest time before the next game. Is that something you sort of feel throughout the week as, you're, as you go on? Uh, yeah, you definitely feel it. But, uh, you know, they, we, we do things. And we, we, if, it's, if it's like that, we do more. We just more, uh, more treatment. We try to get more rest. We hydrate more. We just put more of an emphasis on it. You know what I'm saying? So... What's harder, getting home at 4 a.m. or waiting around eight hours to play play a game? Uh, I would say, in my opinion, waiting around. Uh, it's, it's hard to, you know, you, it's hard to just manage your emotions, you know what I'm saying? You got to be ready and then you got to, you know, somebody will coach you, say something, get you pumped up, and then uh, you, don't, you don't play for you know, an hour, three hours, something like that. So I think that's that's hard. But uh, I'll, like I said, that's uh, I would prefer, or that's harder. There's so many guys on the team. I'm sure everybody handles it differently as far as trying to kill time on Saturdays when you have a night game. Some guys take naps. Some guys play video games, watch a game. What, what, what's like the most common thing you guys do yeah, like, to try and kill time? <laughs> but uh, it's just a game where we watch it. Uh, it's a, we, we got, sometimes we'll have like a little 30 minute nap, but uh, we just watch ball, you know, get off our feet. No video games. No, you don't bring the video game console with you on the road. Why not? Are you guys not allowed to, or you just don't do it? Uh, I mean, they never really, nobody, they never said we're not allowed to, but I mean. I'm surprised you guys don't do that. It's, nah, it's, we're focused, man. We're trying, we're Dante, talking, guys man. in the past have said that they prefer playing the early games rather than the later games because you get it out of the way and you don't have to sit around all day. I mean, right. if you had your choice, what would you prefer? Uh, I like the 3 o'clock games. 3 o'clock yeah. right there in the middle, why? Yeah. Uh, it's not too much, you know, waiting around. It's, uh, it's I feel like, and the noon games are kind of early waking up. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta kind of force it to wake up, you know, hop in the shower, take a, take a real cold shower and wake up. But, uh, like, it's, it's like per, right in the middle, perfect, perfect in my opinion. It's not too late. When you're so waiting for a late game, it's brutal. I wouldn't say it's brutal, but it's, it's, uh, you gotta prepare yourself to, like, you gotta prepare yourself more when you gotta make it. Dante, when will you and Jerome be making another music video? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. Whenever, whenever we get a, whenever, whenever I get a hold of crows, I play again. Maybe, maybe we'll do something. Else. What'd you think of that? Uh, I think that's very close crow like. Wasn't expecting that, but uh, it, it was cool. I thought it was. I watched it like five times. I said it's my favorite wow. music video now. Because wow, that's, that's you had like you were so just like cool in the front, and then Jerome with the sandwich dance in the back. It was like a nice contrast. Yeah. It kept my attention, I gotta say. <laughs> well, I mean, I couldn't really do much. So I was, I was going to take a pick, so. Yeah. So I don't you can do whatever you wanted to do, so. Are, they your, are those your glasses, or are those Coach Crow's those, those are his glasses. Oh, you, look, you look pretty good. I, I it's agree. like a mature Dante. I agree. I, I thought so as well. I made look a little older. <laughs> so are you going to get him back now again? <laughs> Coach Crow? Coach Crow, yeah. I think so, yeah. I mean, that's not, that's not too crazy. So. 
but you were surprised when that hit the internet. Honestly, I wasn't that surprised. <laughs> Because <laughs> he, he, he sent us that in a group. He sent us before he put it on Twitter. He sent it to us in a group chat. A lot of group chat. I hate to even ask you a serious question. Now we're having fun here. Um, how just how are you playing this year? Just kind of rate yourself, um, grade yourself. It could be your toughest grader. I don't know. But how do you feel like you're playing this year, Dante? Um, I feel like the last couple of games, I, I played pretty well. I mean, there's always room for improvement. I think uh, I, feel, I just feel really greedy. I mean, almost. I say. Uh, I want, I want to keep making plays. I want to keep you know, contributing to the team, to the defense. But uh, that's what grade, grade wise, I would say, like, I don't know. I don't know if I give you a grade, but. Yeah, you don't need to give me a grade. Yeah. yeah. Just, and, and you have to feel like you're getting, like you're in the flow now. You started last season as a starter. You're a veteran guy, obviously, the injury last year, but now you're in your fourth year, halfway through the season. Do you feel like you're like in the flow now more? Yeah, I'll definitely use that. I like, I like that word, flow. Yeah. Like one of the things you said after, I believe, the Rutgers game was you said um, after your breakout game, you're like, yeah, this is the way I want to play every week now. Like in heading into this is you had your second straight game of recording a sack and you kind of had that game again. Yeah. Was that due to preparation for expecting that from yourself going in there? And what kind of how has that changed going into this game against Nebraska? Uh, preparation hasn't changed. Um, we we are, we've already put in two great days, just like we had the past the past two weeks. So, I mean, it's looking like you know we feel the same. We feel like we're ready to go. And I feel like me personally, I feel like I'm ready to do the same same thing that I've been doing. So, great, Dante. Thank thanks, you very Dante. Much.